Toni Stone is the first woman who ever played professional baseball. And she played on the Negro Leagues, and it is a story that I don't know how none of us know who she is, but we should. She's remarkable. It's a story about community. It's a story about sportsmanship. It's a passion story. This play is not about what was done to Tony. It's about what Tony did. You get to see Tony's fortitude, her focus was always just about playing the game. She didn't care about anything else. And we have a lot of fun. The hope is that if we can make each other laugh, we can also make the audience laugh. What this means for Tony's legacy is more people know her magic. And I'm here for that. Tony Stone isn't a musical, but in so many ways, it functions like one. When they would come to different towns, they would bring a show. Now, when they went to play white teams, sometimes they had to make the community feel comfortable with all these black men coming in to play baseball, and especially if they're gonna beat the white team. <laughs> we have these wonderful moments of hilarity and dancing and working with rock star choreographer Ebony Williams. Ebony is amazing. I didn't know she was in Single Ladies. I didn't know that was her. There is something beautiful about how baseball players in the Negro League play. There was flash, there was elegance, there was a certain type of movement and grace, and that has been so great to endow our show with. The American spirit, it's about perseverance through adversity, and that's what the Negro League is. Everything stacked against them, and yet they made something beautiful. I love how Lydia has set this play with these nine men surrounding this black woman. We all play different people in our life. So we play uh, different female identifying characters. We play uh, older characters. And there's something breathtaking and moving about seeing a black woman on stage, having the telling of her story supported and bolstered by a community of black men. Makes me really think about the black society that I was raised in. We're gonna take care of each other. We have each other's back. And that's so much like the life we're living in. I mean, so many beautiful black men are in my life and lift me up. If I have an agenda for the audience, it would be that they will have been moved, they will laugh, and they will be challenged to think. I hope that they are saying, I can't believe I didn't know that. I hope that they're saying that that was fun. And I hope that people come and they, their first thought isn't, that's not my experience, but their first thought is like, baseball is baseball. This is my story. I think it's for everybody.